going on guys? So we are out on Burke Lake. I have about four and a half hours to fish today. I wanted to do a quick unboxing. We had one of our subs from Germany hit me up on Instagram. He said he's a huge fan of our videos and I thought that was super, super cool. He said he really wanted to see an unboxing of this Instagram picture I took. So we're gonna do that real quick. As you can see, I got some Kitex. These are the Sight Flash. Generally, I'm gonna throw these in or on the middle of my umbrella rigs. I got four of the Yum Flash Mob Juniors because I've been losing them like crazy, but this is my favorite umbrella rig that I've gotten to throw so far. So that's pretty sweet. I got four more of these. I got some of the eighth ounce swim jig heads by Dirty Jigs. Um, I figured that the eighth ounce is the best to throw on the Alabama rig. I don't exactly have a Alabama rig set up to throw, like rod and reel combo. Um, I've just been throwing it on my 7.6 Extra Heavy Aris, and this is what makes that rod happy. Just all eighth ounce, maybe um, a quarter ounce head in the middle, but that's about as much weight as it can handle, or for the reel, at least. I got some Robo Worms to drop shot with. I got some Silver Buddies, and let's see, I got a special one in here somewhere. The Mega Bass. This is the Vision 110. I got it in that chartreuse shad color. So we're gonna be throwing these around today on Burke Lake. Water temperature is 43 degrees. Got it. Sun's trying to poke out. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's the middle of January and it's 50 degrees out. But let's get out here and catch some fish. Let's go. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Feels good to be out here, that's for sure. So right now I'm just gonna run straight across the lake and hit some of the brush piles that I marked last time I was here. Fish some of the points over there. Fish a little bit deeper. See what happens, hopefully I can get bit. I have five hours to be out here. We'll see what happens. Oh my God, I got one, I got one. <laughs> Wow, this feels big. Nice. That's awesome, this is a good fish too. Oh wow, it's a good one. <laughs> this is like a good high four pounder for sure. Here, we'll swing it, here we go. Come on. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Don't mind if I do, cold water bass. Man, he's like a five pounder, it's amazing. All right, so the guys at Connect Scale sent me this. They wanted Ace and I to do a product review on it. And the other day when we went out and tested it, gave it some real things away, uh, all the footage was lost. So we're gonna get the first weight on this. It's all zeroed out. Just 5.2, 5.31. All right, so the fish we caught earlier was literally right in the middle of the lake, suspended in like 25 feet of water. Um, I'm coming down a point right now. I want to fish the end of it. I'm just kind of working my way through it with the A-Rig. Hard to put this thing down once you catch a fish on it in the first five minutes. But yeah, we're going to keep slinging this thing around a little bit. Hopefully we can catch a couple more today. What are you slinging around today? Got the Mega Bass for when his boat pushes me to the shallow. 110? Yep. Yeah, I just picked one of those up today. What is that? Butch Brown is that Thumper Tail. The Butch Brown? I've never seen one of these. Let me hold this back. Fucking silly. Yeah, this is the Butch, this is like his rig, right? Uh -huh. He like chops the hook off and so does like, all that. Taste, Dude, that's silly. money. Y'all remember this spot at all? This is where I caught my PB right here off of this little point. It's actually a pretty shallow point, and then it comes off and drops off really quickly out here towards the channel. Boat's in 26 feet. If I jumped up another like, I don't know, 20 yards, I'd be in like, 10 feet of water. Really just gonna fish my way on the outside of this point and then work my way shallow. See if there's any fish hanging off of it. Okay, time to tie something else on for a little bit. Let's go with the Vision 110. Let's do it. Lots of hooks, lots of hooks.
gone over this a few times with you guys, but for those of you who are new or missed the last time I was talking about fishing a jerk bait, what I'll do is I'll cast it out as far as I possibly can. I'll reel it down so it gets into place and then I'll give it two, two solid jerks. And I generally let it sit there for five to 10 seconds, sometimes longer. You just gotta experiment and really see what the fish want. I've only had like six or seven casts with this. Nothing so far, but we'll keep throwing it a little bit. This bait's actually pretty cool. It sits nose down when it's suspending. So it'll rip, rip, and then it goes nose down. It's pretty neat. So reel it down into place, a couple jerks. Another thing to experiment with when you're throwing these rip baits or suspending jerk baits is uh, switch up your cadence too. You know, sometimes give it two pops, sometimes just one big one. Other times you can just literally slowly reel it. Just keep giving it little taps. And just experiment, see what the fish want, see how they bite it, and just go from there. A lot of it's just trial and error. Sometimes they'll bite it one way one day and then switch it up the next. Even in the same day, sometimes you can see a change. It's so hard to put this Alabama rig down. I'm just so confident throwing it nowadays. It's crazy. It became my favorite bait like overnight. It covers water easily. I mean, you'll catch big fish, small fish, medium fish on it. This is an awesome, awesome thing to throw. Once you gain even a little bit of confidence with it, <laughs> you don't want to put it down. Oh, wow. Does it look like some fish down there to you guys? I can't tell. It looks like fish. We're going to see. <laughs> that looks like a giant school of fish with a bunch of big ones around it. I'm just going to swim this Alabama rig right through the middle of it. Fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous day out. I mean, it's like 55 degrees in the middle of January. You cannot ask for better weather. And we already caught a fish today, so good trip. So we got about an hour left. The wind completely died down. Pretty much just gonna stick to fishing deep. Keep throwing this Alabama rig on the points and the channel breaks. See what happens, hopefully we can catch one more. That's gonna be it for me, I gotta run into work, but I'll take any 50 degree day in January and catching a five and a half pounder. It's the biggest fish of the year so far. It's the seventh fish of the year that I've caught. So it was a fun day. I got to test out the Connect scale, which is pretty awesome. Ace and I are gonna be trying to get out tomorrow. Hopefully it works out. It's gonna be cold and rainy, but who knows, maybe these fish will like it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you soon. So we're out here, it's Friday. I believe it's January 20th, it's inauguration day, so we're out here fishing instead of being in DC. It's crazy down there. Uh, we're at Lake X today, so let's see, we'll probably be throwing some A-Rigs. Uh, Matt got me a setup for an A-Rig, so I might be throwing that. A little spoon. Yeah, the Silver oh, Buddies. Silver Buddy, I bought one of those, so I might try one of those today. Definitely a drop shot. Yeah, definitely throwing a drop Shaky shot. Shaky head. Also, we're going to get more into depth about the uh, connect scale. We'll show you how that connects with the phone and everything. And uh, hopefully we'll have a pig to weigh like Matt did yesterday. So let's, do let's it. go. So we've been out for an hour and a half. No bites. We've marked some fish on the graph. Right now we're just trolling around looking for like a big school of bait fish. Or obviously bass, which is totally fine. So we're heavily relying on the graph today. Um, which is not something we're super proficient at. But today is the day to learn. We're fishing a lot of deep channel, like channel edges. We're fishing uh, a road bed that's out here in the middle. And we're gonna go check a couple points right now. So none of those points ended up working out. We 
didn't catch any fish all day. Ace had one bite on a jig, and then that was it. And I'm not gonna bore you guys with a whole 10 minute video of us just casting. So uh, let's get into the connect scale a little bit. I wanna talk about this. And actually I've talked so much about this today because this is the third time I've had to record this because the audio is messed up every single time. And I think it has something to do with the camera being in this area near the router. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but anytime it gets close to over here, it was giving me a clicking noise. We've been using this over the past few days. It's an awesome scale, it's an awesome product, and I want to thank Ben Arnold, the guy who sent me this scale. Um, we are not sponsored by them. We just wanted to do a product review for them. So they sent us the scale, and we're gonna be getting that done. I mean, at a first look, the scale itself is, you know, really sturdy. Looks good, it's not huge, sleek, it's money. A couple of cool things about it, it does have a two foot tape measure on it. Also, it has a little magnet on the back for the hook so it's not swinging around all the time. It says hello, and when you turn it off, it says goodbye. It's pretty much all you need to know. Just kidding, but the really cool thing about this scale is it literally connects to your phone. So you can download their app, I'll put a picture of it right here, um, and you connect it through Bluetooth. So you can weigh 100 fish throughout the day and it will calculate the total. A couple other things that, that it lets you do is in the app you can go back and kind of record more than just the weight of the fish but you can do bait, location, um, water temperature, it automatically sends the air temperature and then there's a little comment box at the bottom if you want to leave yourself a little message about that fish. Um, another really cool thing about it is it has a little tournament section on the app itself and you can set up a tournament however you want. It gives you a ton of options. This thing is very, very cool and I can't wait to use this a lot more this spring. I mean, it's gonna be on the boat with us all the time. This is the scale where we're gonna be using. So it is $90 to buy one brand new. I think that's a little bit high personally, but the scale itself is awesome and I would recommend this. We are gonna be keeping it with us at all times and weighing a bunch of fish on this, so if it starts going bad over the next few months, I'll keep you guys posted on that. And, I mean, so far it's a 10 out of 10. I don't see anything that I don't like about this scale. So, that's gonna be it for today. I'm going down to Richmond for the fishing expo, and I might vlog that, so we'll see how that goes, but until then, see you soon. Bye.